If you're a Christian watching this video right now, there is something that the Lord wants me to teach you concerning spiritual warfare and the demonic hierarchy. So everyone knows pretty much that chapter in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 where it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. But what most people don't really know is that Paul is actually giving you, right here in this chapter and in this verse, the demonic hierarchy or the spiritual hierarchy. And I want to give you that so you can have a better spiritual understanding of what goes on in this world. If you didn't know that, you learned something new, as you always do here, right? So when he is writing and he says against principalities, that word in the Greek is arches. It's the arches or the archons, the ancient ones. And there's only a few of them, right? And uh, just to be precise, there's only seven of them. Those are the seven heads on the dragon. But because I don't have time, I can't get into that message, right? But there's only seven of them, arches. Think of them as like ancient kings or like an old king right in this metaphor an old king doesn't go off to war anymore he sits on a throne and he strategizes with his army and his generals and then the foot soldiers and the lieutenants and all of them they're the ones that go off to war same thing arches archons these are the seven ancient ones then he is saying now against pros exousia so for those of you who know the word exousia in the greek it means spiritual authority so these are the ones that roam the earth that take the strategy from the devil and his arches the ones that sit upon thrones over the countries and these distribute authority they distribute authority right they give the authority for the plans to be put in motion and then now this word against the rulers of darkness most people think darkness is the devil these are rulers over the darkness so darkness is an entity these are rulers over over the darkness in the Greek it's cosmokratos this is the only word that ever appears in the New Testament right and it's a combination of two words the world or aeon cosmos and then kratos which means power so these are the ones that actually influence neighborhoods influence cities influence these are the ones that influence governments politics all that stuff these are influential powers that receive their authority from the exousias and then the next one is spiritual wickedness this is pneumatike ponerias these are actually now the evil spirits that carry out those things from above these are the ones that possess and inflict, and I can't go in any deeper. So if you've always been wondering why the way things are, there it is, Ephesians 6.12. And the reason why I can't go deeper, I'm out of time now. So if you learned something new here, be sure to leave a comment down below saying revelation in acknowledgement that you learned something. And if you did learn something here, don't be afraid to hit that follow button because if you learn from one video here, just imagine how much you'll learn in a year. All right, I got to go. God bless.